Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and uh, this is just a little short video, probably ain't even going to be four minutes long. Uh, I wanted to give an update on the trailer build, I've done a lot of work to it since I did my last video on this trailer, and still got a lot more to do, not as much, but still got some to do. Uh, so I guess we'll just get right to it and let you all see what we got going on here. For starters, we've got our ramps, and they're pretty tall ramps, and made a bracket for this pin, and then this pin, this side goes on the pin that goes all the way up to here. This pin that's on the roller goes all the way up in there. So that's holding hinge in this side. Then we got a roller. Same thing here. Got my tail lights on it. And yes, I'll even show you the uh, the underneath where I uh, routed my wires. As you can see, made them nice and neat. Alright. Then I've used a spray on truck bed liner to go up the sides. And the supports for the ramps are these right here. Now I made that bracket so that I can put a tie down here. I, I can put a tie down here or a tie down here. Either one or both. Uh, did the same thing on both sides and then I've got another bracket that I'm going to put right here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting toolboxes on here. Uh, go get me two matching toolboxes and put one on each side. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Uh, I could put no I was going to say I could put a toolbox on here, but that would interfere with the rod here. And then when I got up here to the top, or the front, I thought, well, why don't I just go ahead and complete that with wood? So I did. I got my winch mounted. I got my battery box mounted. And believe it or not, this is a bell foam box that acts as a junction box. And... That's where everything ties together. So it just slides on there and clips. And then I'm gonna put a, a screw here somewhere. All right, I also put two different plugs on this. As you can see, I got the little four prong plug and the big seven point or seven prong. So I got both of them. I got the four and the seven because my truck has both and if if I ever need to pull this with another vehicle nine times out of ten it's going to have the little four prong so we got that on there and the hitch or tongue or whatever you want to call that painted the jack I just makeshift uh, painted it uh, eventually I'm going to take it off and redo it and do some fancy work on the jack And these here just clip on with clips. I can take these off, pull it out, let the ramps down. I may put some kind of a, a bracket here or rest so that when I'm not using when I'm using the ramps, I can lay lay these down and it'll rest in a cradle. That way I don't have to take that end off. So that goes up and hooks right there. I welded a bracket on that. And then She's going to be a pretty nice trailer. I still have to fix this tire right here because the um, this one keeps going low on me or leaking air around the bead. So apparently when uh, I put it on there, I didn't have the bead cleaned, enough, cleaned up enough to uh, let it seal the tire. So I got to take that 
tire off and take it in on the tire machine, the bison built tire machine, and uh, break it down and clean that bead, bead area. So we're going to do us a roundabout here on it. It does take a two inch ball before it had an inch and seven eighths ball. That sticker's got to come off of there. That looks terrible. We'll put a bison sticker on it. <laughs> And I ain't none, none too sure I might sand down the wood and, uh, you know, just rough sand it, get the little overspray that I did get on it off. And because uh, I just got a little bit of overspray on it, I can just take a sand paper, piece of sandpaper and just roughly sand it. And I may use Thompson's water seal or something, maybe uh, some, uh, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Linseed or boiled linseed oil. So there you have it. The bison built trailer on its way to being done. I uh, still got to wire the uh, uh, winch. I'll show you the uh, stuff that I have that's going with it. Let me readjust here. I have a choice of this remote, but I'm going to have to put a longer cord on it because I want to be able to set on the tractor and steer it while I'm pulling the uh, tractor up on the uh, trailer. So that'll have to be a longer one. Now I do have this one that's a longer one, but it's not, and it's got a plug on it where I can plug it in, which I would have to run clear to the back because it just unplugs right here and then this mounts in the frame but I don't know uh, I think this one requires solenoids because these wires are awfully small to carry that much current so those are just those are even smaller than speaker wires so I'm not understanding why it's green black and red I know the black is uh, uh, negative and the red is positive but what the hell is the green for maybe somebody can tell me all right i got the bolts here that i'm not going to be using well i'm going to be using two of them when i go to put this on which i have to make some adjustments on this i need to file file out this hole and make it oblong because this one's a different one than the one that came with it. I used the one that came with it on my air or air hose going out of the shop so that I wouldn't tear up my hose when I go to pull it out. So I got one of that one on here and I meant to, I should have used this one, but I didn't. And I'm not gonna go cut that one out. I'll just water that out oblong and then it'll fit these two holes right here. I've got to chisel out enough around this for these bolts to go down in. So we got that, then we got our hook, and the first thing that's coming off of this is that damn clip. I hate those things, I despise them. So we have two bolts coming out of this for bolt that roller on. This is gonna be a nice trailer when I'm done. Of course, everything I do, I try to make nice. Then I gotta armor all the uh, battery box. Make it look pretty and get that nasty sticker on off of there. So there you go. Bison built trailer. Used to be a boat trailer, it ain't no more. Oh yeah, I took the uh, standoffs off of it. Those things that was welded right here, I just cut them off, the ones that was coming up, because every time I'd walk around this trailer, that thing, this one here, would catch my shoulder. And I said, no more. 
it ain't gonna hurt me no more so now once once I get this done I'm gonna take and put a fence starting right here coming up about 16 inches tall all the way around it to right here on both sides I don't really need nothing back here where the tread tread steel is so I'm just gonna go from this part right here up to the front and that'd be about it that's just to keep something if it gets unhooked so it don't roll off the trailer anyway thanks for stopping by the bison workshop you guys have a good one later